Hey everyone, welcome to our cyber security journey. Today we delve into the intricate world of network protection as we explore the types of firewalls. In an era where digital threats loom large, understanding the diverse forms of firewall is crucial. Join us to unravel the layers of hardware, software, proxy, stateful inspection and next generation firewalls. Discover how these guardians shield your digital realm from cyber intrusions. And now will move to the landscape of firewalls and fortify your knowledge. And just a quick info for you, if you want to upskill yourself, master cybersecurity skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various cybersecurity programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like MIT, IIT Kanpur, EC Council and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking techniques, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security, and over a dozen others. And that's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier product and security companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a cybersecurity role as a fresher or move on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a cyber security program that fits your experience and areas of interest. And now let's start with the topic. What is a firewall? A firewall serves as a protective mechanism either in the form of a device or software tasked with monitoring network traffic to identify and thwart potential threats and its primary function is to create a barrier permitting harmless traffic while blocking any potential harmful data and the protective reach of a firewall is adaptable catering to various scenarios security teams leverage firewalls to safeguard networks from external sources such as the internet second establish protective parameters around internal subnetworks ensuring for instance that hr personnel cannot access systems reserved for the devops team Third, implement traffic scanning on individual devices like safeguarding a BYOD laptop from incoming traffic. And in the client-server model of network security, firewalls play a fundamental role, ensuring the safety of both incoming and outgoing traffic. However, vulnerabilities exist, including susceptibility to social engineering attacks where malicious actors attempt to exploit individuals by, for example, stealing passwords for CEO fraud. Second, insider threats that is posed by individuals within the network intentionally altering firewall settings. And then, human errors, such as employees forgetting to activate the firewall or disregarding important update notifications. So this was about the firewall and now we'll see how does a firewall work. Teams implement a firewall in line within a network to serve as a barrier between external sources and the protected systems. Administrator establish choke points where the firewall scrutinizes all data packets entering or leaving the network. A packet, a formatted piece of data for the internet transfer consists of a payload, the actual content and a header, that is information about the data sender and recipient. And firewalls assess packets using predefined rules to differentiate between banning and malicious traffic. These rules set govern how the firewall examines. And the first rule is source and destination IP address and then payload content and the packet protocols example TCP IP and then application protocols HTTP, Telnet, FTP, DNS, SSH and then data patterns indicative of specific cyber attacks. The firewall blocks packets that violate the rules directing safe packets to their intended destination and when a firewall restricts traffic two options exist that is silently discard the request or provide an error reply to the sender. Both options prevent harmful traffic from entering the network. The choice depends on security preferences. Typically, security teams opt to silently drop requests to minimize information exposure if a potential hacker is testing the firewall for vulnerabilities. So this is how does a firewall work. And now we'll see the types of firewall. So we'll start with the number one that is packet filtering firewall. So packet filtering firewalls operate at junction points, comparing each packet to established criteria like IP addresses and port numbers. 
while fast and cost effective they lack broader context and don't inspect packet payloads this makes them suitable for basic security in small or budget constrained organizations and if we talk about the advantages the number one is filters traffic for the entire network it is fast and efficient and is inexpensive with minimal impact and now talking about the disadvantages it lacks broader context doesn't check payloads and setup can be challenging and now moving on to the next type of firewall that is circuit level gateway so circuit level gateways monitor tcp handshakes to determine the legitimacy of network sessions while it is easy to set up they should be used in conjunction with other security technologies to prevent data leakage and if we talk about its advantages it processes requested transactions and it is easy to set up and it requires low cost and now talking about the disadvantages it offers no protection against data leakage no application layer monitoring and it requires ongoing updates and then coming to the next firewall that is application level gateway also known as proxy firewalls application level gateways filter packets based on service and content while providing fine grain security controls they can impact network performance and are costlier and now talking about the advantages it examines all communications fine grain security controls and it protects user anonymity and now talking about the disadvantages it can inhibit network performance and it is costlier than some options and doesn't work with all protocols so this was about the third firewall that is application level gateway and now moving to the fourth firewall that is stateful inspection firewall so stateful inspection monitors the entire session offering a high degree of control over content while resource intensive it provides substantive logging capabilities and is effective against specific attacks like dos and talking about the advantages it monitors the entire session and it high control over content and substantive logging capabilities and now talking about the disadvantages it is resource intensive more expensive and doesn't provide authentication and now moving to the fifth firewall that is next generation firewall and next generation firewall combines packet and stateful inspection with deep packet inspection and additional security systems while offering optimal filtering it requires integration with other security systems and is costlier and now talking about the advantages it combines dpi with other controls and it tracks traffic from layer 2 to the application layer and talking about the disadvantages the complex integration process and the cost layer than other types and choosing the right firewall depends on specific security needs with larger enterprises often using a combination of these technologies for a layer defense so these were the types of firewall and now we will see firewall deployment options as the landscape of it consumption models has evolved so to have the methods for deploying security measures firewalls today come in various delivery methods including hardware appliances software based solutions and services so first talking about hardware based firewalls a hardware based firewalls operates as a dedicated appliance serving as a secure gateway between internal network devices and external entities unlike software based alternatives these self contained appliances do not draw on the processing power or resources of host devices and often referred to as network based firewalls these appliances are particularly suitable for medium to large organizations safeguarding numerous devices however configuring and managing hardware based firewalls demands a higher level of expertise compared to their host based counterparts and now talking about software based firewalls in contrast a software based firewall also known as a host firewall that runs on individual servers or devices to provide protection host firewall software must be installed on each device utilizing some of the host device's cpu and ram resources offering robust protection against viruses and malicious content on a pre-device basis software based firewalls excel in the discerning various programs running on the host this granularity enables the filtering of inbound and outbound traffic granating precise control over communication permissions for different programs and now talking about the third deployment option that is cloud or hosted firewalls many security service providers deliver cloud based firewalls also termed firewall as a service this hosted solution can monitor both internal network activities and on demand environments from third parties cloud based firewalls entirely managed by an msp are advantageous for large enterprises 
or those with disturbed operations and security resource gaps. They also prove beneficial for smaller organizations with limited staff and expertise. And this was all for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session then like share and subscribe. If you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.